wrong people in the dining room and I really, really, really don't want them there. Dr. Becker, thank you for coming. Ah, uh, an open door. There's nothing more symbolic of new beginnings, opportunity, and enlightenment. Well, it's certainly more difficult for you to enter through the window. Exactly! Okay. Would you come in? Well, it's a beautiful day and it's warm for the season. I see you've got a pleasant looking bench over there. Would you like to come out? Uh, no. What if I told you that I cannot help you unless you show me that you're willing to take a step forward? No, don't answer that. Um, Belinda, how did you know that it was safe to open the door? I could see you through the window. Yes, but how did you know I was me? Uh, you said your manifestations take the form of people you know. <laughs> Usually. There's been an exception? Yes, uh, a child. Aha! This is a good sign. We're finally getting somewhere. <laughs> so the child's name? Annie, but I don't really see how... Oh, you will. <laughs> you will. So Annie, after your grandmother? Were you perhaps supposed to be called Annie or Anne? I really doubt it. Okay, so what exactly was the child doing? Uh, playing then baking. Aha! Uh -huh. You must watch this child. She will lead you to yourself. Focus on the child, Belinda. <laughs> oh, wonderful breakthrough. Okay, I will call you in a few days and perhaps we'll try a walk on our next visit. <laughs> but what are you saying? Are you saying the child is me? It's a definite possibility. Sorry, I'm late. I'll wash up and then help you so you can finish getting ready. Uh, the boss thinks he's going to be a few minutes late. You didn't invite your mother, did you? What's that smell? Risotto for dinner? Belle, your back door's unlocked. Mom, I brought a red. It's a good bottle, so it needs to breathe. Oh, I see you're serving white. Has this been chilled? What are you gaping at me for? That wine isn't going to breathe itself. Hello, lovely. Miss me? Winning a divorce rate should be my cover story. You know, sex would be better. Hello, Marie. Davies, no matter how charming you are, I shall never forgive you for ruining my rose bed. <laughs> You carry a grudge long and hard, Marie. Oh, <laughs> you say that to all the girls. I got it, I got it. I can't believe you invited her. At least Davies will keep her occupied. <clears throat> he usually does. Davies! Rich! Marie! Now, hello, Richard. You look like you used a second glass already. Belle, what are you doing? You okay, babe? You forget something, Belle? Yes, I just want everything to Perfect. be... Perfect. I know. Always, eh? Just, uh, don't leave us alone with your mother too long. Well, I'll be over soon. Not soon enough for me. There are all the wrong people in the dining room and I really, really, really don't want them there.